Nothing shall be impossible unto you. Nothing shall be impossible unto you. Nothing shall be impossible unto you. Why don't you say it for yourself? Nothing shall be impossible unto me. Say that again. Are you sure? Say that again. After this uh, session tonight, while you are going, when you see your friend, what do you tell them? When some thoughts come in your mind, I say, uh huh. Do you think? Do you think? What do you say? When you wake up in the morning, tomorrow morning, and then you want to feel where that thing was, what do you say? And all through the session of this celebration of the miracle of Calvary, every moment, morning, after and evening, what do you say? When a bad dream tries to cross your way and then you wake up almost sweating, what do you say? When somebody brings a letter that is written in a bad way, negative letter, and they say, look at this, look at this, what do you say? When the powerless enemy, powerless enemy is trying to brag and is saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, what do you say? When the old, old pain tries to strike you, say, hey, I, I got that thing again, what do you say? From tonight until tomorrow, until Saturday, until Sunday, until the end of the retreat, and then when you are going on the way, everything is now done. All miracles are now available for you because nothing shall be impossible unto you in Jesus name I'm going to read that part again it says if, if he appeared as a grain of mustard seed he shall say unto this mountain remove hands to yonder place I don't want you in my life anymore I don't want you on my back anymore I don't want you in my brain anymore. I don't want you in my thoughts anymore. Remove from hands onto yonder place. I don't want you on my husband anymore. I don't want you on my wife anymore. I don't want you on my daddy anymore. I command you, get out of this place. I don't want you in our family anymore. I don't want you in our local church anymore. And then the Lord said, it shall remove. It shall remove. It shall remove. And nothing shall be impossible unto you the sure promise in his word point number three now the sincere practice of his word the sincere practice of his word how did these people receive the miracle how did they have the signs how did they get the wonders the sincere practice of his word i'm coming back to look chapter 5 Luke chapter 5 Luke chapter 5 the practice of his word that's how we got the miracle and that's how you're going to get the miracle thank God you've got it I say thank God you've got it Matthew chapter 5 verse 5 so in Luke chapter 5 verse 5 and Simon answering said unto him master we have toiled all the night and I'm taking nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. The sincere practice of his word. That's how the miracles come. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will. And when he had this done, he did it. He fulfilled it. He carried it out. He practiced it. What the Lord wants us to do. And when you practice the word, 
and you do what the Lord has commanded tonight in that obedience to what the Lord has said that miracle will follow immediately and it says they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and uh, their net break look at Luke chapter 19 Luke chapter 19 Luke chapter 19 I'm reading from verse 5 and remember we're talking about the sincere practice of his word when his word comes to you there is nothing to do but just to obey never stop to reason why never ask the question why both faith and duty will demand just to be just to be this is the way god's way to have miracles signs and wonders the sincere practice of his word luke chapter 19 i'm reading from verse 5 and when jesus came to the place he looked up and saw him and said unto him Zacchaeus, make haste and come down for today I must abide at thy house. Look at what Jesus said. Number one, make haste. Number two, calm down. And remember how the message, how the miracle of salvation will come. The miracle of freedom from sin, how it will come. This is their practice of his word. Look at verse 6. And he made haste. You see that? Make haste. And he made haste and came down, come down, and he came down and he received him joyfully. Do you see that? The sincere practice of his word. Make haste, he made haste. Come down, he came down. Look at verse 9. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house. Why? Because he carried out the word, make haste, made haste. Come down, he came down and received him joyfully. This day his salvation come to this house for as much as he also is the son of Abraham. John chapter 9. John chapter 9. I'm reading there from verse 4. John chapter 9, verse 4. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. And when he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay listen to this verse 7 and he said unto him go wash in the pool of Siloam which is by interpretation said and he went his way therefore and washed and came seeing you said to have the miracle you see what Jesus said Jesus said Go and wash. Two verbs. Two words of action. Go. Number one. Wash. Number two. What did the man do? Number one. He went. Number two. He washed. You see that? It's a sincere practice of the word. When he says, do this, and then it's done. He don't say, how reasonable is that? Why don't you lay hands on me? He didn't lay hands on him. He gave him the word, go. And he went, why don't you anoint me with oil? He didn't anoint him with oil, go. And he went, why don't you just do something so that I will know in fact it's like the case was made worse because they put clay on his eyes, said go, wash that up and you'll see. The man did not doubt, I will not doubt. I said I will not doubt. Go and wash and he went and washed and came back seen tonight you will see i said tonight you will see john chapter 11 john chapter 11 john 11 verse 39 john 11 verse 39 and jesus said take here with the stone 
You see that? That's what the Lord is saying. He's saying, you need to do something. Miracles, signs, and wonders. These were the miracles that Jesus performed. How did he perform them? He spoke the word. And the people received that word. And they laid by that word. They carried that. They obeyed that word. And that's how the miracle became performed. It says in verse 39, Jesus said, Take here away the stone. Look at verse 41. And what did they do? Verse 41. What did they do? And they took away the stone. You see that? Take here away the stone. And they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. The moment they did what he told them to do, he said, now it's done. Now the miracle is there. The power is manifested already. And he says, life will come into that dead carcass. Because they did what he said. Take here, weigh the stone. Father, you have heard me. Verse 42, I knew that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he thus sat spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, 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 come forth. Verse 44, and he that was dead came forth. Came forth. Come forth. He came forth. Stand up. He stood up. Stand down. You sit down. Open your eyes and see. Open your eyes, you will see. If your name rise up, you rise up, you begin to walk. Anything swollen in your body is gone. Yes, Lord, I believe it is gone. You were a sinner before. You want eternal life? Come, you come. You're saved. Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. Looks like tonight is the night of your miracle. Looks like the, tonight is the night of your signs and wonders. Look at this now. We're looking at John chapter 2. John chapter 2. John chapter 2 verse 5. John chapter 2 verse 5. His mother said unto the servants, Whatsoever he says unto you, do it. Mary was expecting a miracle there. And she knew, she knew, she knew that you need the sincere practice of his word. That's why she said, whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. Look at verse 6. And there was set there six water pots of stone. After the manners, after the manner of the purif of the purifying of the Jews continue two or three fuckings apiece. Jesus says unto them, Fill the water pots with what? With what? What did they need? Were they looking for water? What were they looking for? Whatsoever he says unto you, do it. Filled the water pots with water, and he filled them up with to the brim. And he says unto them, Draw out now. Are you not going to pray? Draw out now. Are you not going to lay your hands on those water pots? Draw out now. Are you not going to speak in tongues over the water? Draw out now. I'm not going to do Jericho march around the water pots. Draw out now. Whatsoever he says unto you, do it. You see, there are people who delay their miracles. They are waiting for this and waiting for this and waiting for this and waiting for that. And already the miracle is so near. I said your miracle is so near. And whatever he says unto you, do it. Do it. Draw it. Draw out now. And bear unto the governor of the feast. 
and they bear it. And when the ruler of the fields such tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the fields called the bridegroom and saith unto him, Every man at the beginning does set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse, but thou hast kept this good wine until now. You have it. I said you have it. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed on him. Any disciple here tonight? Any disciple here tonight? Any disciple here tonight? Where are you? You believe? You believe? Stand up and see the glory of God. The beginning of miracles. You know how it happened? Whatsoever, whatsoever, whatsoever it says unto you, do it. That's how the miracles come. That's how the power is manifested. That's how the power is released in your life. Whatsoever, whatsoever, whatsoever it says unto you, do it. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord and say, Lord, I am ready. Lord, I am ready. Lord, I'm ready. There's something to do. There's something to do. Whatsoever, whatsoever, whatsoever it says unto you, do it. What's he telling you? Take care away the stone. 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 That stone of sin that is blocking your view. That is blocking your mind. Take care with the stone. That stone of hardness of heart. That has not been obeying the watch of the Lord. Take care with the stone. That stone of sin. That covers your understanding. Covers your spirit. Buries you in the grave. Joins you with the dead. When your soul is dead. Your spirit is dead. Your life is dead. And it's torn. Cover it up. Take care with the stone. Take on that stone of sin. Repent. Turn away from the evil. Turn away from the sin. Turn away from the iniquity. Take care with the...